हेलो एवरी वन आई एम वेलकमिंग यू ऑल वन सेकेंड टू दिस चैनल सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू मेक ए सुपर सेल ऑफ दिस ग्राफिटी कार्बन नाइट्राइट सो विच इज यूजली रिप्रेजेंटेड एट एज जी सी थ्री एन फोर एंड इट हैज ए टू डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ लेयर वन इज दिस ट्राई एजाइन बेस्ड लेयर एंड अनदर इज द हिप्टाजाइन बेस्ड लेयर सो वी विल मेनली टेक दिस ट्राई एजाइन बेस्ड लेयर एंड वी विल ट्राई टू कंस्ट्रक्ट ए यूनिट सेल फर्स्ट विच विल बी लाइक दिस and uh, which will be of, of hexagonal type then we will try to rectangularize that unit cell by constructing that root 3 cross 2 uh, two super cell and uh, here i will be following this paper so i am opening that paper over here and you see that what they have done here so they have uh, make the make one unit cell of it then they created the root 3 cross 2 super cell then they have make uh, the heterostructure with tio2 by using this um, this kind of heterostructure model so we will be confine ourselves up to making this super cell uh, for this graphite carbon nitride so uh, for this we will follow certain steps to construct this kind of super cell so uh, let's go forward so our first step will be to construct the unit cell and where we will have this triazine based layer and next part will be uh, to uh, make a root 3 cross 1 rectangular cell so that we can make from the hexagonal one uh, by by using this kind of uh, so this kind of units like this kind of vectors so here we want to have a unit ve vector of length root 3 cross a and another vector of length a and the angle between them we want as 90 degree so for that we will construct a new set of vectors new we will construct new set of vectors so here a1 dash will be a1 plus a2 and a2 dash will be minus a1 plus a2 next part is to write a transformation matrix to uh, have to have a, have this root 3 cross 1 unit cell so uh, here the rectangle so the transformation matrix we can write it as 1 1 0 and minus 1 1 0 and 0 0 1 as we don't have any translation along z axis so we are remaining this z axis as it is and next part is to construct a super cell by making this b direction twice okay so this way we can make our uh, super uh, super cell of graphite carbon nitride so super cell of root 3 cross 2 uh, okay now let's go to uh, have our unit cell so here i am going to search the same in the materials project so here uh, we can search this c3n4 so i am going to explore materials and i am searching here c3n4 okay it came and here i will take this one so as it is experimentally and computationally verified okay let's open this and uh, here i will save this cif symmetrized file okay now let's go and open the same using our best software so i am opening this c3n4 cif which we have downloaded now so this is our cif file so don't bother about the more number of atoms here this is just a representation that we can control by using this bonds and we will see uh, write this do not search at atoms beyond the boundary okay apply okay so now you can see that here we are having three layers of this graphite carbon nitride like three layer of this graphite carbon nitride so out of this this the first ring we want so this is the ring that uh, which will construct uh, from here we can construct our unit cell and from here we will also go for the super cell so uh, first our first step is to convert the cif to a bas uh, file so i am exporting the cif file to a bas file okay save it so i am saving it to fractional coordinate okay now let's first open the same bas file that we have saved now so here i am opening that so here is also the same thing happened and we we can also do the same thing here like the bonds don't do not search atoms beyond the boundary apply okay so now you see that here is also three layer uh, of this graphite carbon nitride came but we are interested to get this first uh, layer that means this ring ring only we want 
so why i am saying that we want this because if you will go to this paper so here they have shown that this is the unit cell so this a figure is gc3n4 unit cell so we want to have three carbon atoms and four nitrogen atoms that will be present in our unit cell so for that we need to do certain modification so what will be that that we will show side by side uh, that i want to show you side by side so vi so i am opening this uh vas file here so you can see that here we are having nine carbon atoms and 12 nitrogen atoms that means as we are having three layers of uh, graphitic carbon nitride layer that means uh, each layer is having three carbon and four nitrogen that means uh, so that's why three layer we are having nine carbon atoms and 12 nitrogen atoms so first thing we will we will see that what are the atoms present on the first ring so i am clicking on the carbon atom so this is one carbon this is c3 and next is this is c1 and this is c2 okay that means we have to retain our c1 c2 c3 first first thing and okay let's edit this file now so we need c1 c2 c3 and other six carbon atoms we have to delete like the coordinates of other six carbon atom we have to delete so this is one two three four five six so i am going to delete all these so manually you can do this edit to get your unit cell okay so now we are having three carbon atoms so let's check what are the nitrogen atoms present over here so uh, this nitrogen is this is n3 this is n2 this is n1 and this is n11 so okay then we will have first three nitrogen atoms and uh, rest we will delete so first three are here next we will have 11th one and others we have to delete so i am deleting all so i am doing all this with vi editor that's why i am doing like this you can you can open this file in text format and you can simply uh, delete all this by selecting all the coordinates that are unnecessary for us okay so uh, this is done almost next is also we will have this 11th coordinate and we will delete the 12th nitrogen coordinate let's go up and remove this space and now we will edit this number of atoms so this is nitrogen is now 4 and this carbon is now 3 let's save this okay so now i will again open the same file in our vista this is the same bus file i am opening now now see the difference like what we have saved before and what after uh, edit like after editing so what happened <coughs> okay now see that we are having the unit cell only which is having a single ring okay so this way we did the edit uh, part correctly okay so now uh, this atom is now present on the lower part of the box so what if you want to uh, take shift it towards like middle of the layer by adding certain more vacuum into it so for that what we will do we i i am going to export this gc3n4 in the cartesian coordinate format okay so i have written the name as c3n4 cart okay cartesian now i will again go and edit this c3n4 cart file and here is the bus and here you can see along the z axis the value of the vacuum is 10.70 angstrom so now if you want to further increase this i am going to increase it up to 15 so for this i am going to write 15 instead of this g 10.77 
okay now save this and you will see the difference over here again i am opening the same file and uh, do the same bond edition apply okay now check over here no i have opened the bas cart rather i uh, like i have to open the bas cart i have opened bas c3 only okay so this one is what we have saved now so now remove this not search bonds okay now you see the difference like what we have saved earlier and what we have saved now so this was what we have we were having earlier that here was the um, ring at the end and now we have modified the z value that's why the ring came to in between so the entire space is now 15 angstrom along z direction and this is only one layer present over here okay so fine now what we will do next so after having this as our unit cell now as we know that we need to construct a root 3 cross 2 kind of supercell so for that from, from now you can see in the summary that this is a kind of a hexagonal box having gamma value 120 degree and alpha beta value as 90 degree and this is the uh, actual lattice constant for this unit cell that is 4.78 which is also mentioned in this paper you can go and check over here i have checked that so uh, the lattice constant they have specified here okay i'm searching yeah the lattice constant uh, for gc3 n4 they have specified as 4.76 okay so uh, here also how much we are having we are having 4.78 although this is not an optimized structure after optimization you can do this uh, you can do all these things okay to match with their uh, lattice value lattice constant value now uh, as we have seen in the steps that we need to multiply our unit cell to a uh, transformation matrix and that matrix we have constructed as 1 1 0 and minus 1 1 0 and 0 0 1 so let's go and do the same thing here so here i am going to edit unit cell then transform so here the transformation matrix we will write as 1 1 0 minus 1 1 0 and 0 0 1 click on ok then yes then do not search atom in the new unit cell and add them as a new site ok then click on apply then click ok now you see what was the difference so earlier we have seen that this lattice parameter like this angle values were 90 90 120 now it's 90 90 90 degree that means our cell is now a complete rectangular cell okay we can see it from different different uh, planes so this way it is looking from b a plane and this way in b plane and this way along c now our desired supercell is root 3 cross 2 root 3 cross 2 supercell so for that uh, before doing that we have to save this file so i am going to save this one as supercell of gc3 n4 supercell and that supercell is root 3 by 1 okay so this is our root 3 by 1 supercell so save this first i am using uh, right now i am taking this fractional coordinates okay saved first thing now open the same the one which we have saved now so this is now open do the same thing over here apply okay now we will again do the transformation matrix and here we will transform our lattice vector along the b direction only so i am transforming this okay yes okay search atoms apply then okay so now you can see that this is the desired lattice that we want to uh, make so this is what is constructed now so i am rotating it similar uh, to that paper how they have done and also for our convenience i am removing this box so do not show the uh, unit cell now we will compare this with the paper so i am going to the paper 
how they have sewn so they have sewn it like this and I can make it split yeah so now you compare that the structure they have made and the structure we have made is same okay that means so in this way we can construct a supercell of root 3 cross 2 for graffiti carbon nitride and this is all this is what we have made uh, made with heptazine ring like um, sorry triazine ring if you want to do the same using heptazine based layer you can also do and follow the similar steps and i hope it will be constructed and uh, so this was my uh, video to uh, to show you how to make this kind of cell using this root 3 cross 2 kind of uh, rectangularized uh, uh, super cell uh, okay so uh, this much for today's tutorial and i hope you all of you have understood uh, how to do all this and thank you for thank you for now and bye bye